You know, I've been doing these Traveler Spotlight videos for a little over a year now, and I think it's finally time that I incorporate an actual spotlight, right? Oh, jeez! Why did I look right into it? Why? 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 Hey, what's up, world? My love, welcome back to the channel where we explore my mind and the world. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing another Traveler Spotlight. That's right. Oh, geez, I can still see dots. Now, I've been doing this series for a little over a year now, and um, the way I choose uh, who I put on my Traveler Spotlight is, well, it, it kind of varies from episode to episode. Sometimes I will watch someone's stuff and then they just won't upload anything else after that. They'll go on a huge hiatus and then I'll just sort of lose interest. But a lot of the people who I have spotlighted, like John Gross and Dan King especially, I've stuck with their content and I've continued to watch their, their stuff. And this person who I'm about to spotlight, uh, while I have not been subscribed or uh, been a follower of their content for the longest of time, but I have remained rather engaged and actually more and more engaged than from when I first uh, saw one of their videos. And this person is Josephine Ostevic from Life Like Josie, and I really hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Now Josie is a YouTuber in her early 20s and she is pursuing performance arts, so acting and singing and dancing. A triple threat. She creates stuff like travel vlogs and travel content, but also more personal stuff to keep you updated on her life. And another thing she does is make motivational videos, which is something that I really want to share. But why might you like her videos? Well, she creates travel vlogs and other types of travel content, and you might really like her videos of when she went to Bali or when she went to UK. And she's right now in Tanzania with her friend Tina Serafin, I want to say. And soon there's going to be some dope videos. I That felt weird saying dope. I don't usually say that on this channel. Another reason is because she has a great perspective on uh, exploring and like she has that adventurous attitude even if it's like somewhere really close and that's something I preach a lot on this channel even if it's somewhere close to where you are, somewhere local. Like my last video I went to the Aurora Arboretum which is like maybe a 20 minute drive. And finally like I said she keeps you up to date with her personal stuff and makes motivational videos which sort of combines and matches together uh, and it's very inspiring and very motivating to, to someone like me who's also like her trying to uh, get into the media and entertainment industry but even for those who aren't trying to get into that industry specifically it feels nice knowing that there's other people who are struggling with you that sounds kind of wrong like just like yes other people are in pain that's not what I'm trying to get at what I'm trying to get it is that it's nice that um, she's trying to motivate other people and like I do on this channel, I'm trying to motivate you guys to, to go out and explore things. And she not only gives the advice, but she also will take the advice to like how she is now moving to LA in come September time. I think it's really great whenever someone makes moves to accomplish things that they want to accomplish and it's really inspiring. Yes, it does make me feel kind of bad sometimes when I'm not you know, working as hard, but it's also very inspiring and very motivating and someone who's doing something to get closer to the goal that they want to achieve, to have that dream that, that they want to have in their life, that is something that I really admire and that is why Life Like Josie is this week's Traveler Spotlight. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Have you seen her channel, any of her videos? Have you heard of her at all? If not, click on the link in the description down below. I think maybe I'll leave a link there too or whatever. And if you have seen her videos, let me know down in the comments below what you think. And if you guys maybe have any suggestions for next Traveler Spotlights and other travel creators that you think I should watch, especially those who are uh, up and comers, like a couple, maybe a few thousand subscribers, a few hundred subscribers, something like that. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel to be notified about my next video, which will be next week. If you guys haven't seen my last Traveler Spotlight, you guys can click right over there to see that. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I'm on all that. All the social media links are down in the description below. But that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, go explore something.